Hi, I'm Bryce, and welcome to Making Things. And today I'm here with Katie, who brought something cool to build. What did you bring? Today we're going to make big wings. They look something like this. Uh, so if you could imagine for a second that you're a bird. Thank you, bird. Fly, we have long, flappy wings. Like doing this. So <laughs> last, the last project, we looked a lot at flapping and how mm -hmm. to make wing, wings flap. And this one looks a lot at folding. So if you could imagine your arms were kind of like brought in and mm -hmm. twisted and malformed and mm -hmm. to make something like, you would get something <laughs> like how a bird's wings look. Um, mm -hmm. They're kind of adapted or arms. Or a T-Rex, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and they have these like, these, and they, they work kind of with this linkage um, extension function. So these wings are kind of designed to do the same thing. So if you kind of hold them up, you can actually kind of see the modeling um, mm -hmm. with your arms. Um, so there's lots of different ways to make these. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of designs. Um, this one is based on a small scale model out of coffee stirrers um, by this guy named T. Griffin on Instructables. And we kind of scaled it up, connected it, modified it to make it bigger. Um, and this is what's called a lazy tongs linkage. So mm. you've probably seen this in the like, <laughs> exactly, right? There's often a boxing glove at the end of There's that. There's usually a boxing <laughs> glove at the end. Um, it's called lazy tongs. The like fancy, fancy name is plain translational scissor linkage. Mm. Um, and you use it to kind of build these extender, extender things. So again, this is a modified version. Um, and we're going to um, make some wings that can fold up. Cool. Well, let's get started. Cool. So to start off, uh, we're going to have eight pieces of wood, four long, four short, a bunch of nuts and bolts, and some hot glue. So for our long pieces, these are 20 inch pieces. One set has two holes in it, one set has three holes in it. So for the two hole set, you've got this three inch gap on one side. For the three hole set, you've got an 11 inch gap and an eight inch gap. So, and for each one of them, you've got uh, a half inch gap. Uh, kind of leading in from the end. For your short pieces, these are your wing struts. These are 12 inch pieces. You've got a set that has two holes and a set that has three holes. For your three hole set, again, you're going to have this three inch gap. And that's going to line up with your long pieces when we put them all together. And then the last thing that we have are these nuts and bolts. Uh, so that we're working with uh, quarter inch bolts. Um, these are three quarters of an inch long and a quarter inch wide. Um, we've got bolts, we've got nuts, and then we've got washers. These washers are a little bigger than what we typically use, but you can use any size as long as it fits over the bolt. And then the last thing we're going to use is some hot glue to hold it all together. And one thing you can do as you're kind of putting these together is to store your nuts and bolts as you can put them in these paper cups and then you don't lose track of them. We're going to start with our long pieces. You're going to set aside your two hole piece and we're going to start with these long pieces that have three holes in them. And you're going to put the short side, your eight inch gap, you're going to hold that so it's towards you and you're going to make a V shape. And you're just going to drop a bolt in there to hold it together. And I've got my bolt, my washer, and my nut. And we got a nice V shape. And then from there we're going to add the wing extender. So these are going to be our wing tips. Um, they only have a they have two holes on one side and the other side doesn't have any holes at all in it. So we're going to take the very end and we're going to attach them here to make an M. So I'm going to take my nuts and bolts and put them together. One on that side and one on this side. And then I've got a nice M shape. Um, and as you can see, if I were to try to take this and attach it to my body, I would have the floppiest set of wings ever. Uh, so to fix that, we're going to add our struts. And this one's going to come together in about the same way, except instead of making an M, we're going to make a W. We're going to start again with our three holes. Um, and same as last time, we're going to take the short end, the three inch gap, and hold it so that that short end is facing you. But this time, instead of making a V, we're going to make a tent. So again, I'm going to take my, uh, my bolt. I'm going to drop it in. I'm going to put my washer on the back. And it should look like this. And then we're going to attach our two outside struts. So these are going to be our last pieces. They've got one hole on either end, half inch from the end, to make a W shape. One here. Mm 
one here. And as you're doing this, you want to think a little bit about how you're stacking them. We can always undo our nuts and bolts if we find that they're stacked wrong. When I'm putting these together, I want to kind of try to alternate low and high. But as you can see for this one, I kind of messed up that. I'm just going to leave it for now. And then if it is bad at the end, we can redo it and drop it underneath. But then you have a W. You have this W shape for your struts. And again, it's pretty floppy. Um, and we're going to stabilize it by putting them both together. So now I've got my M shape, which is my wings. I've got my W shape for my struts. They both kind of fold very nicely. And then we're just going to stack them on top of each other uh, to build our wings. So I'm going to start from the outside. Um, <coughs> and you're going to do these one at a time. So I'm just going to drop these in here and connect my last set of nuts and bolts. And as you're doing this part, you may find that your piece feels really misaligned or it seems like the holes aren't going to line up. And if that's happening, you just want to take each hole one at a time. As each one lines up, it's all just going to kind of fall into place. And then you've got a set of wings. As you move this, as you kind of fold it back and forth, all of these bolts are going to want to start to come undone. And we're going to flip it over backwards, and we're going to tighten each of these against the washer as tightly as we can possibly get it. And you might need to do this a couple of times as you use your wings, because these are really going to want to come off. But I'm just going to go across the whole thing. I'm going to tighten up all my bolts. We're going to put a little bit of glue on the back of each of these bolts. So as you're doing this, what we're doing is we're putting a dab of glue in the seam between the nut and the bolt. You don't want to connect the nut or the bolt to the washer. If you do that, you will have a wing that doesn't move. Um, and if you don't have hot glue, that's OK. Um, the washer should help keep them in place. Um, but you'll probably just need to tighten them from time to time. OK. And then you have a working set of wings. So the last thing we're going to do, and uh, you might need to get some help with this. Um, these are designed to fit uh, inside a backpack. Uh, so you can take your backpack or a bag or anything that has straps and just kind of slide it in there. So this one, th these wings are just are kid size, so they're a little small for me and my backpack. Um, and if you want, you can get some twine or some zip ties or something to attach it here. And then you can attempt to put them on. And you might need a friend to help you with this part, but you can set them in your backpack, and then you have your own set of wearable wings. Uh, and you can dress them up, you can decorate them, you can build out feathers and other things. Uh, but this is kind of the basic structure. Um, yeah, and that's how you make big wings. Cool. Uh, thanks to Katie. And thanks to everyone who backed our Kickstarter. Especially Pelican Tea, local crafter of spicy teas and tonics. If you like this video and want more, you can subscribe to this channel and or you can support us on Patreon. To get more information about this project and others like it, you can check out our website at partsandcrafts.org makeit. Links are below. Thank you. Thanks.